Hello, we're going to look at how to carry out a chi-square test in SPSS. A chi-square test is used for categorical data and it tests if there is an association between two variables. What we mean by that is different categories of one variable may result in a different category for the other variable. So let's say for example in, within this data set we were looking to see if there was an association between marital status and activity level. In other words, we're looking to see if different marital statuses tend to give different activity levels. So we carry out a chi-square test as follows. Click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Cross Tabs. And in this window, we drag across the two variables which we're interested in. Now we can drag activity level into this box and marital status into the columns box. It doesn't really matter which one we drag into which box. Now click on statistics and select chi-square and then continue. Let's also click on cells. Let's untick observed and let's tick on column. What this does is it makes sure that the column totals add to 100%. The reason we want the column totals to add to 100% is because we've got the marital status in the columns and really we're comparing how single and non-single people differ in their activity levels. So that's why we need the columns to add to 100. If we'd wanted to compare the relationship status split in each activity level, we would have ticked row. Let's click on continue and OK. Now in our output, we have a percentage table here. So what we can see here is, for example, of the single people, around 7% of them didn't do any activity, around 27% of them did very little activity, around 36% of them did a lot of activity. Now we can look at the non-single people, we can see around 36% of them did no activity, etc, etc, and around 14% of the non-single people did a lot of activity. So remember, what we're looking for is, are the activity levels for the single people different from the activity levels for the non-single people? Well, we can see there are some differences here. But what a chi-square test does is test whether the differences are significant. So to find out our results from the chi-square test, we look at this table here, and we're interested in the first row. Now our p-value is 0 0.001. As this is less than 0 0.05, and indeed less than 0 0.01, we would say there is strong evidence that marital status is associated with activity level. In other words, different marital statuses appear to do different levels of activity. If we look a bit closer at the table, we can try and establish where these differences appear to lie. And I think we can see that if we look at the first row, as I mentioned before, 7% of married, uh, sorry, of single people did no activity, whereas 36% of non-single people did no activity. And if we look at this row here, we can see that 36% of single people did a lot of activity, whereas 14% of non-single people did a lot of activity. So what I would conclude from this chi-square test is that it appears that single people tend to do more activity than non-single people.